Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. I hope all of you guys are doing fantastic. I'm feeling so much better. The news is a little bit late because I decided to take care of myself and sleep in. So welcome to the kind of late news video. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. For any of you guys who are doing nothing right now, I am planning on streaming my raid missions uh, right after this video is uploaded. So make sure you're checking out stream if you do want to join me. Let's talk about what came out though uh, on Wednesday. Lots of cool little fun things and uh, kind of maybe a foreshadowing of what's to come. Uh, we do have the fabulous Final Fantasy quiz. Make sure you go on there if you do want a chance to enter and win that Galaxy tab. Personally, uh, not the biggest deal in the world to me, but pretty cool nonetheless. The Chocolate Festival is actually something I was not expecting. Now, the reason that I said that is because what came with the Chocolate Festival, you can see in the daily purchase bonus here, is actually the Chocolate Festival 2021 medals. Now, are these worth it for hoarding? Probably not. And my limited kind of perception of why we're probably not going to want to pull like crazy on these is because the description of the medals say exchange for a unit and vision card shards released by 526. So even if, say, Valentine Salir came out next week, I have a feeling that these medals would not be usable on her. I'm a little cautious with this because usually these medals, if they're going to be associated with a new unit, it would kind of say so in the description, like it would say, oh yeah, up until a unit's coming out on like June 9th, for example, right? But it doesn't say that, it says up to 526, so I'm a little bit like, oh, we're gonna be careful with these. So maybe collect them if you have some other units you want to like slowly get. There doesn't seem to be a very good way of getting these right now besides the daily login bonus. I mean, yes, it's a really good like, unit of choice login bonus but if it's on a couple of the banners i would maybe be skeptical or be skeptical in terms of hoarding them like i have recommended in the past it might be kind of a bait to try and get you to pull like crazy for them uh in terms of the missions here uh we do have the special raid support missions that have been coming out as well definitely do the raid support missions that are today you can see it gives 100 mace branded tablets that's super huge and you're gonna get the 500 uh nrg which is also really important so make sure you are busting those out the main story also uh got updated today so we will be doing a video on the main story just because i you know have been enjoying the main story but it's also been kind of like what the fuck is going on so we'll be doing a video about that later today probably uh maybe after my stream but by clearing the main story you do get a thousand vizior so for those of you who are maybe on the fence for pulling for carbuncle i would say go ahead and do it uh definitely worth pursuing um and getting that buncle now, in terms of the summons that came out, we do have a five step, 10 guaranteed carbuncle. 100% recommend pulling on this. Uh, I am gonna be pulling on it as well. Coral is on this banner as well. Uh, and when I am streaming today, I will be doing my pulls on stream. Interestingly enough, we also got a five UR vision cards guaranteed 10 times summon, which does have carbuncle on it as well. And this is pretty unusual because usually the featured UR for the week is not on these kind of bonus VC polls or unit polls. So I kind of like the direction that this is going. I think it's a little bit weird that like they make this kind of like, they have the chocolate festival tokens right now, but there doesn't appear to be any chocolate festival token banners. We have the Frederica, we have the Mashery banner still, the Black Rose Helena banner, but there's nothing really that's like, you know, come and, you know, get your chocolate tokens, which is weird to me. Uh, I don't know if like, maybe they're setting us up for like a big chocolate festival thing next week, uh, but it's a little weird. We do still have, uh, we have gill summons as well for Carbuncle. Uh, so if you got a lot of gill, um, personally, I'm saving mine, but something to consider as well. Going into the shop, uh, before we talk about the raid updates, let's talk about the chocolate metal, or not the chocolate metal shop, but the chocolate shop here. Um, it sounds, it sounds, Sounds almost like we're uh, shopping for a Valentine's person, but 
Okay, okay, is it gonna load? It will, okay, it has decided that it wants to load. So let's go to the Chocolate Festival 2021 shop. Uh, you do have the Chocolate Festival medals here. You do have a raid full restore. Of course, if you have units that you want a UR or you want a EX, the chocolate medals are of course going to be the best value for you. Uh, in terms of potentially units coming in the future, I don't know if we're gonna be able to use them for them. So just, just keep it aware. Uh, daily growth egg pack, not too incredible. I wouldn't spend on that, but the raid support pack, of course, for the 30 large NRG, 200 skip tickets. I will purchase that just because it's so good. Uh, the chocolate flan earrings as well. Uh, if you are ever wanting to make multiple plus fives of these, this would be uh, definitely a must purchase as well. I'm personally not going to chase them because I feel like like those earrings are not going to be huge for me. Um, they also gave the MR unit EX job pack. So if you are like me, where you have been kind of roadblocked by the Asia Broadstones, this is going to be the best pack to buy for Asia Broadstones. Other than that, I would say pretty much everything in here is a hard skip, unless you need the Rainbow Awakening Source Stones, which there is a bundle in here for that as well. Hopping out here and talking about the raid quality of lifes that have come out. Uh, there is a raid repeat feature now, and it's a little bit awkward, and I'll kind of show you guys how it works here. Uh, I was kind of hoping that there would just be a setting to turn on so that I could kind of like with my normal um, events actually like play through it. But what actually happens is when you play through the raid, um, it's going to prompt you on whether or not you want to go on the raid again. And like it turns like 10 clicks into like three clicks. So like in terms of, you know, maybe emulating this, it does make it a lot easier to repeat function with an emulator, right? If you are using some type of an auto clicker or something like that, right? But in terms of making it like crazy easy, it doesn't really do that. It's kind of a, I guess it's like a small time saver. I'm not particularly fond, like, like to me, it pretty much changes nothing, right? Because all it all it does for me is I'm gonna change some settings on my emulator and I'm still going to repeat it with emulation anyway. But basically this button pops up right here, click okay, claim my rewards. And then you can see it even stutters a little bit just because it seems like it's going through a lot of the menus in the background. And then it lets you prompt again and you can hit the embark uh, right away. So pretty easy there. What I'm more excited about and what I'm super what I actually utilized uh, earlier today in order to set this up is that I can farm and I can stop now um, when I have a certain amount of raids. So if you go to the battle settings here and you go to repeat settings, you can actually see you can change it to raid encounter to when you have 10 raid encounters, which is really nice. So it will just continue the auto repeat until you have 10 raid encounters and then it'll be done, which is, I mean, that's okay in my book. I'm happy that it does that, and I'm uh, pretty satisfied, I would say, uh, with how it ended up playing out there. Finally, we do have some guild bonuses going on this week, so we do have the guild login gifts, so make sure you are sending that to your guildies. Make sure you're feeding your statues, uh, because if you're not, um, you're going to get kicked out of your guild, uh, and you're going to be like me, and you're going to be like the second highest contributor in your guild, and then everything's going to um like slowly fall to catastrophe uh mastery ex did come out as well which does means that we did get the mace branded tombstones as well so if you're leveling mastery uh make sure that you are doing that also a quick adjustment from my mastery review um on my ex video the other day it took me a while to get this out just because i've been sick with uh covid shot to uh, get my 5g wired uh, but Mashery does get plus eight agility in between her EX and non EX. So I did say she got plus zero. Do I think that changes anything for her? Not particularly. Um, anyway, everybody, uh, if you do want to see me live on stream, I am going to be on stream uh, right now, probably after this video. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. I am planning a bunch of videos for this week. So make sure you stay tuned and have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.